Hello, Yaya here, coming from my living room in San Francisco. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today, we're gonna make a butterfly together using the materials from your garden kit. We will also talk a little bit about butterfly behavior, body parts, and life cycle. But why do we care about butterflies? Well, butterflies are really important because when they're around, we know that things are going well for the plants and animals and insects in that place. Butterflies are indicators of a healthy environment. If butterflies are here, so are the things that like to eat butterflies, and so are the things that butterflies like to eat. So that's a lot of life in one place already. Also, butterflies help flowers grow, very much the way that bees do. Butterflies are pollinators, which is something that we call insects that help pollen move from flower to flower, which makes more flowers grow. You're gonna find in your bag materials to make your butterfly, to make your insect, make your insect. So you'll find a clothespin. One side is black, one side is not. There will be tissue paper. You'll have a pipe cleaner, a small, circular piece of paper and two googly eyes. So here is how to make a butterfly. Here's one way that you can make a butterfly out of these materials. Please feel free to get creative. If you don't like this recipe and you find a new and cool way to do it, follow your heart. Um, yeah, here we go. If you have access to scissors, um, you can start with these rectangular pieces of tissue paper and you can cut out the shape yourself. So if you don't have scissors or you're just feeling like getting it done, you can start with th these two shapes that are already cut out for you. When working with tissue paper, I have found it useful to think about it as though I was holding a ladybug. When you're holding a ladybug, you wanna be very gentle because if you move too hard, the tissue paper will crinkle, maybe in ways that you don't want it to, um, and maybe rip. I've had a lot of time to practice in the last week as I've tried to figure out how to make this butterfly. So anyway, you have two pieces of paper, one on top of the other, and the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to fold it back and forth the way you would when you're making a fan out of paper. So let me show you. You keep it like this and you make one fold down like that and then you're going to fold it backwards So now you have paper that's been folded back and forth. Butterfly wings are made of colorful scales. The patterns on the butterfly wing can help butterflies survive by scaring away predators or by helping them hide from predators. They do this by making it seem like they are bigger and scarier animals than they actually are. Also, some butterflies blend into their surroundings so that their predator can't see them. Very smart. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze it right in the middle and then you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and you're gonna wrap the pipe cleaner around the middle. And this is gonna eventually be the antenna. So wrap it around the middle and then I do one twist right here. I do twist so that the middle is held in place. The next step is to, to kind of floof them up. And I do this by sticking my finger into the little folds that we made and making a little dimple so that it kind of flattens out. Floofed, very nice. Okay, also, did you know that butterflies have four life stages? They hatch from eggs, then when they're a caterpillar, they eat and they grow and they grow and they grow. 
and they grow so much that they had they have to shed their skin to accommodate to uh, make room for the bigger caterpillar that they are so they shed their skin like four times and then it's time to make a chrysalis and that's where they transform and their caterpillar body turns into goo and then it gets built back up into a butterfly body and it's the butterfly body that can go ahead and court other butterflies and mate with other butterflies and sometimes in the case of the monarch butterfly migrate and it's the butterfly body that can fly places um, and then hatch some more eggs to make more butterflies okay and then I'm I personally like making shapes with the antenna antennae These are used to help the butterfly maintain balance while it's flying, and it also helps them sense what's going on in the world around them. Pretty cool. The next part is you will take your clothespin. This is the body of the butterfly. This is um, the head and the thorax and the abdomen. The thorax is where the legs come out of, the six legs of the insect. And you're gonna open it, you're gonna squeeze it. Squeeze. And then you're gonna stick the wings into the open end. You're gonna tuck it right in there. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Let me see if I can fix that purple part. In order to glue the face onto the butterfly, you might need to get some glue or some tape from somewhere in your house. Your googly eyes are on a strip of paper so you should be able to unstick the googly eyes from the paper and stick them on to the face of your butterfly. Now you can leave it like this if you want to. Very elegant, very beautiful. Already a huge success. Or you can take the circle and glue the googly eyes to the circle and the circle to the head of your butterfly. Okay, googly eyes going on. Smush. Smush. We have a face. So butterfly eyes are actually compound eyes like a lot of insects. So each eye is made up of thousands of other eyes. Another cool thing about butterflies is that they have something called a proboscis. Butterflies sip nectar by uncoiling their proboscis and slurping up the sweet stuff from the flowers. Pretty amazing. So butterfly eyes are pretty different from these eyes, but we're still gonna use them because it's fun. Now I'm gluing the face to the body. And then we have our butterfly. Did you know that they found, that scientists found butterfly fossils from 56 million years ago. Butterflies have been around for a long time. So you can also decorate this side and you can do this again and experiment with different ways of, of uh, making your insect using the extra pieces of tissue paper and other materials in your garden kit. So that's our project for today. But here are some more cool facts before you go. Did you know? Monarch butterflies migrate. So they make a really long trip from August to October and they roost in trees in colonies of millions of butterflies. Then they migrate north again in the spring. These migrations actually happen over several generations usually. So Sometimes a butterfly will make the trip south to the coastline of California or to Mexico and then its grandkids will actually make the trip back up north. I hope you had fun making your butterflies today and I also hope that you now have lots of questions about insects and also lots of cool butterfly facts to impress your friends with. See you next time.